the welcome to another you know class on respiratory structures now in our previous you know lessons we have looked at structures used by different groups of organisms to obtain you know oxygen for the purpose of um, aerobic uh, respiration but now we want to emphasize that these structures that are used be it you know the trachea or body surface or lungs or gills as the case may be whichever it is that are structures they are you know prepared in various ways to be able to obtain perfectly the gas that is needed so we have characteristics of features that are peculiar to these structures that help them to make the organism to carry out gaseous uh, exchange now this will lead us to look at the surfaces because the surfaces are what is used be it trachea it has a surface that allow for diffusion of the gas be it body surface such as uh, the skin of a uh, toad and frog it allows for diffusion of the gas into the body the lungs too has prepared surfaces that uh, allow for the gas for the diffusion of the gas and the gills too has you know its own prepare prepared uh, uh, structure to be able to allow for diffusion of the gases now by respiratory surfaces we are saying that uh, different organisms have different respiratory surfaces so we look at types of respiratory surfaces types of respiratory surfaces one the first one is the cell membrane cell membrane example is the plasma lemma in amoeba and uh, amnesia the second type of respiratory surface is uh, the gills the gills and the gills you know are used for gaseous exchange in bivalve modus bivalve bivalve modus in fish in tadpole in tadpole and the crustacea this group of organisms use gills for gaseous exchange they use it to obtain oxygen for aerobic uh, respiration now that will take us to the main structures of um, a gill a gill is having a very simple structure there is a bar and the bar is having a spiny structure with which the organism uses to sieve out to sieve out so what we are 
hadi filament so we have something like this if you cut maybe a tilapia fish look at the operculum look at the eyes if you split the operculum open if the operculum is cut and this is you know the mouth of the fish you see that at this region of the operculum when the operculum is open you see the gills there so a cut section of the gill is like this and it has the gill rakers the gill rakers This represents our gear records. Then we have the bar, the gear arch or gear bar. Then we have the gear filament. We have each filament. We have a lot of them. This one, this another one. So this are the gill filaments and the gill lamina. Now it is in the gill filaments exactly that gaseous exchange takes place in the gill particularly in the gill filament. This gill arch or gill bar is a you know strong tissue that holds the records okay to the filament. The records are used to separate tiny particles away from you know the fluid as it is passing through the uh, operculum chamber. The gill chamber is there as it is open. When the fish opens its mouth Water washes in with dissolved oxygen and passes through the gills. If any hard particle is there, this records will, you know, sieve it, uh, it will sieve it uh, out. That is uh, that about the gill. Then another one is uh, the skin. So we have talked about the. We talked about the cell membrane as a respiratory surface to we talk about the gill and then three another one is the skin skin which is used in a frog toad and at one as we have mentioned it is used Drop food and at one. Then the trachea, which has we have mentioned that for trachea, it has its own surface. Then we mentioned that lungs is used in vertebrates. This is used in insects, it's a respiratory surface. This is used in fish, you know, tadpole. And so on, and the uh, mouth cavity in front of two stomata and lentil cells. Now let's look at the characteristic features of respiratory surfaces. Characteristic features of respiratory surfaces. Characteristic features of respiratory surfaces. It is very very important. Character. Realistic features of respiratory surfaces. Characteristic feature of respiratory surfaces. One, they usually have large 
surface area. They have wide area. They have large surface area. And this large surface area is a, a structure or feature characteristic that makes it to, you know, to allow for diffusion at a faster rate because the diffusion is usually uh, slow. When the surface area is uh, large, it increases the rate of uh, diffusion. Apart from that, they have a thin wall. They are thin wall. Two. They are thin. They have thin surface or they are thin wall. They are thin wall. They are thin wall. The membrane are very thin to allow for the If the membrane is thick, then it will uh, not make the diffusion to take place easily. Not only that, they, are, they usually have moist surface. They usually have moist surface to allow the gases to dissolve. To allow the gas to dissolve. So the surfaces are usually moist. Not only that, they are well ventilated. They are well ventilated and close to the organism circulatory you know, system. They are usually supplied with high blood vessels. They are well ventilated. They have access to ventilation to air. Close. They are well ventilated. Five. They are they are permeable membranes. They are permeable so they are permeable permeable surface. They are permeable surface. The membranes are permeable and they are allowing for the diffusion of the gas. And finally, they are you know highly vascularized vascularized they are highly vascularized and what do you mean by being highly vascularized they are, they have rich supply of blood capillaries and are very close to the organism's uh, circulatory system they are very close to the organism's circulatory system so these are the major features or characteristics of uh, respiratory surfaces. They have light surface area, they are thin wall, they are more usually moist, usually well ventilated, permeable, you know, to the gases and highly vascularized. Before uh, we leave the class, I would like you to you know read more about this and uh, be able to mention respiratory uh, structures for each category of organism. Good day to you.